In the last year, we've seen record high inflation. With the UK reaching a peak of 14.2%, it's taken a huge toll on the price we pay for goods and services. Construction is no different, but how do we factor inflation into the cost of construction projects? And what measures can we include within contracts to ensure inflation doesn't have an adverse effect on the performance of a contractor? In this video, we'll aim to answer both these questions. Bank of England states inflation is the term used to describe rising prices. How quickly prices go up is called the rate of inflation. But how do we measure the rate of inflation? The Office for National Statistics, or ONS for short, tracks prices of goods, services and retail in order to determine the rate of inflation. These are then published through a price index. Common price indices produced by the ONS include Retail Price Index, or RPI for short, which includes mortgage interest payments. Consumer Price Index, or CPI for short, which doesn't take into account housing costs. Or Consumer Prices Index, including Owner Occupiers Housing Cost, or CPIH for short, which includes housing cost, but uses an approach called rental equivalence, which instead of looking at mortgage payments, looks at how much rent the householder would pay for an equivalent property. Although all aim to measure the rate of inflation, they all have separate metrics for determining this, and as a result, produce different figures. For example, in April 2023, RPI was measured at 11.4% year on year, opposed to CPI at 8.7% and CPIH at 7.8%. In framework agreements, which use a predetermined set of rates, you may find provisions which allow for yearly adjustments based on one of the above inflation indices. We'll give you an example of how this works. The following table lists the retail price index from April 22 to April 23. Let's assume we have a schedule of rate item for £1,200. The contract commenced on April 22 and we need to calculate the revised rate for the new contract year. To calculate the revised rate, we'll need to take the index at April 2023 which happens to be 372.8, and divide this by the index at the start of the contract, in this instance, 334.6. We'll then multiply the result by the original rate to give us our inflation adjusted rate of £1,337. This method is also used for cost estimation. When looking at historic cost data, you'll need to ensure you take into account inflation to understand its current day value. However, it's worth noting the above indices aren't the only inflation measures used in construction. In fact, there are indices you may find more appropriate for estimation. For example, Department for Business Innovation and Skills, or BIS for short, produces Quarterly Construction Price and Cost Indices, or PCIs. These PCIs are published as an online service by the Building Cost Information Service, or BCIS, under contract to BIS. UK Gov states these are a basic tool of trade to anyone involved in estimating, cost checking and fee negotiation on public sector construction works. Some of the indices produced by BCIS include Resource Cost Index of All Construction, Resource Cost Index of House Building, Resource Cost Index of Infrastructure and Resource Cost Index of Road Construction are just some of the many indices. BCIS also provides indices on location so you can adjust your prices to suit the location works are being carried out. If you'd like us to delve deeper into BCIS indices and how they can be implemented into your estimates, let us know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please consider clicking the like button. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.